Now this is Mr. Kipling's nephew, and Mr. Kipling is no longer here because, oh, <laughs> he's got antennas. Check this out. Look at this. So this is called a variety of food. We got crazy, crazy jumbo shrimp. Yep, they're good baked, barbecued, broiled, sauteed, almost any way you want breaded. They're good every way you cook them. Then we got a chicken egg that somebody dropped. We got this little cool little fish. I don't even know what it is, a pelcher type fish. We got a good old American steak. And we got this crazy eel that I will tell you right now, oh, it is the grossest smelling thing I've ever smelled. And I've been fishing my whole life. Then we got this modern day normal chicken. We got the jumbo Frank, cause I didn't want my fingers to look so fat. So I bought a really fat hot dog. And then we think called a, a finger uh, grunion, not a grunion, <laughs> a finger mullet. And so he's over there, doesn't have a clue what's going on, but oh, come on over. Come on, come on, Frankie. This is, this is actually Mr. Kipling Jr. Come on. And I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be junior for long if we get him a variety of crazy foods to eat. So, I'm thinking right about now you've got a, a guess on what he might eat. I have no idea what he's going to eat. But if he eats that eel, that means he's going to eat everything. Because I'm telling you, that thing smells. Here he goes. Here he goes. He's going for a normal old chicken. Not fried, not barbecued, not baked. Just a nice chicken leg. Oh, yeah. Look at you. And it don't take him long to eat that. So what do you guys think is going to be the next thing he's going to eat? I'm thinking... He actually surprised me. I thought he'd eat something a little bit more exotic. I thought maybe he wouldn't be so quick to just eat the average old thing. Here he goes. Oh, he's, he's having a hard time. This is like when you're going out on a date and you're asking your girlfriend, what's for dinner? Or your wife, I don't know, where do you want to go? Oh, he went for the egg. So bam, down goes the hatch, the egg. Oh, look at that. Oh, swallowed it whole. And by the way, when they eat, all the bones and all that ass eats a bone and all when they eat like that chicken leg, yes, their acid just digested all, bone and all. So let's see, what is he gonna eat now? I don't know, he doesn't look that hungry, but maybe it's just that he's overwhelmed with all the, uh, 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 he's decided it's gonna be a red meat diet. So far, I think he picked everything you guys would have picked. Oh, I don't know, that is that sushi tricking him? Nope, he's going straight for the steak. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So there goes a steak. Now, the funny part is these guys are known to eat a lot of food because what they do is they're scavengers. So when they get food, they get a bunch of food. And sometimes they got to go without food. So this guy here, of course, he's never went out with food a day in his life. Although he doesn't eat every day, but he's never, never been hungry. He got that one sideways. That's going to take him a little bit of work. Oh, 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 And you see that? That's his teeth. Ooh, look at that. He pulled it right off. <laughs> no, I'm not eating it. <laughs> I, I like my meat rare, but that's a little bit too rare. Come on, Mr. Kipling Jr. Now, this is Mr. Kipling's nephew. And Mr. Kipling is no longer here because he took off. He went to be free forever. And uh, you guys know what I mean, right? So... Mr. Kipling, this is Mr. Kipling Jr. I picked him out as a little baby because he had the same nose, same shape, and he's literally his nephew. So this is Mr. Kipling's uh, sister's little boy. And uh, he's actually younger than some of the other ones. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Grab it right. Here, here, here. here grab it right so you can eat it quick. There you go. There. Oh, well, that changed things a little bit, huh? <laughs> I know how to eat fast. Trust me. That's how I got like this. <laughs> Okay, what's next? Come on, I want to see what you're going to eat next. I'm going to take that little piece of steak away. There you go. You got all these crazy flavors here. And I don't think you're full yet. So what's next? Don't go for the hot dog. It'll be embarrassing. I mean, so far you've eaten all the American food. You're supposed to be an Asian water monitor. There we go. What are we going to eat? Seriously? Okay, what are we going? Oh, 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 man, he had a hard time with that. He's taking the finger mullet. And boy, I think he's going to eat that quick, too. Oh, 
and he dropped it. I'll help you out because these everybody does nobody oh you don't want it? Is that why you dropped it? Okay, there you go. Oh, he's not sure how much he likes that finger mullet. I think he'd already eaten it if he really liked it. He's never had a mullet before. He's never had a shrimp either. And he certainly has never had an eel. I don't know if he ever will because I'm telling you that eel smells woo, gnarly. And yes, I got all these at, at a supermarket, a couple supermarkets locally. We went all over the world to shop these. He shouldn't be full, so up, 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 up. Here goes the shrimp. Oh, mm. sushi shrimp. Ooh, listen to crunch. I ate my shrimp whole too. Ooh, <laughs> he's got antennas. <laughs> That's funny. You never ate one of those before. Okay, let's see what's next. He's getting down the nitty gritty because if he eats that eel, I will be really surprised. Especially on a full stomach. He's usually a much more aggressive eater, but I think he knows all this food's for him. Okay, what are you gonna eat? There's your choices. He's tasting with that tongue. He's got the, that tongue right there and not only tastes things, it actually knows how far things are because it's it, between the two smellers, it can figure out if it's here or there or where it's at by the distance from this one and the distance from that one. So it's pretty crazy. Here we go. What are you going for? Are you, are you really? He's going for that. He almost ate that one before the shrimp. So I think, oh, oh. You want to clear your palate? Want to clear your palate with a piece of steak? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's still got the antenna hanging out. <laughs> Look at the antenna hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, huh, huh. Pulling down. Hmm. He got whiskers. He got whiskers here, bro. Swallow your food. Oh, he's going to finish that little piece of steak. I uh, personally would have did that too. Okay, here we go. Are you going to eat anything else? There's your there's your other stuff. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I thought you might pull that hot dog out of the middle. Now, he's had hot dogs before, but he's never had one like that. Oh, you're going to bite it in little pieces. Oh, I can get my finger in front of there. You might get confused. Oh yeah, I don't know. Do you, what do you guys? What do you, what are the odds of meeting the seal? I think they're almost zero. Reminds me of a video I seen on the internet how they make hot dogs. Oh man, this has everything in it. I mean everything. It ain't kosher. It's a full frank. Google what goes into hot dogs. <laughs> okay, you're not gonna eat the seal under a million dollars, are you? How about the fish? You've already looked at that fish twice. I think we might have actually tapped. He might be tapping out. Are you tapped out? He not tapped out yet because that fish smells good. Oh. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Whoa. That was quick. <laughs> oh, look at the tail hanging out of his mouth. Hope he got that shrimp down. Every time I go to the sushi bar, I leave full, so full I feel like that right there. Tail still hanging out of the side of my mouth fast. I pay my bill and I leave. Oh, see so yeah, that the antenna is still there and the I told you it's a sushi. It's got an antenna hanging out one side and the tail hanging out with it. Oh, that's probably why he's not, like, chugging a lot of food. He's got to get all that down. Ooh. Ooh, he's crunching. He's trying to push it down. Ooh. So that's how monitor swallows. They bend their neck and squeeze it down. 
See that right there? So he's working it down right now, but he's got a lot of food in his throat. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, I think after that's down, he'll be hungry again. I just <laughs> look at him. So, so that's literally how monitors swallow their food right there. He's just he's bending his neck and choking his head down in order to push it down through through his thinner spot of his throat. I think that shrimp kind of hung up in there. That was a big shrimp. Oh man, I think he's got it. Gone. Okay, are you ready? Is it down? Look, he's eating a little piece of chicken. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. There it goes. Ooh. And I literally think that's from Asia right there. I don't know if anybody knows what kind of eel that is. I can just tell you whatever it is, it's smelly. That might help you identify it. Bam. Eight is eel. And let's see, he's got one thing left to eat. Look at him, now he's got to go through that whole process again with that eel. He ate it backwards, so it probably didn't slide down really good. Oh. You're going to be Mr. Kipling. No longer going to take a junior off one day. And if anybody doesn't know, Mr. Kipling was literally born right here at the Reptile Zoo, grew up in this enclosure, and this is truly his nephew. And Mr. Kipling is a famous lizard on Disney Channel that was on a show called Bump and a show called Jesse. That's when he spent most of his time with Jesse. There. You want it? There it is, last call. Last round. You want another bite? Huh? Want a bite? No. He done. He gone. He gone.